Hello everyone and once again welcome to um, another measurement question. Um, now this one, if I bring it closer, it reads Consider the following uh, toy made from a cone with a height 14 centimeters and a hemisphere with a radius of 13 centimeters. So now we need to calculate the volume and the total exterior surface area of the toy. So now this is our toy. Uh, we have a cone with a height of 14 centimeters and then we have a hemisphere. Remember hemisphere is half of a sphere of a radius of 13 centimeters. They want, to, they want us to calculate the volume of the whole toy, the volume of the whole toy and also the surface area, the total surface area of the whole toy. Now, remember, very, very important, volume means the capacity, the whole entire interior of the shape. That's your volume. So the volume is the interior part. It means that we are going to first find the volume of the cone, the individual cone, the volume of the hemisphere, and then add them together. That will be the total volume of the whole toy. That's very important. Now, with surface area, that's very, very um, something to take note of. If you want to set the surface area of a combined uh, shape, the first thing, you need to first find the surface area of the individual shape. So for example, the first, firstly, the cone itself, and then you find the surface area of the hemisphere itself. You write it down. And then now, what's very, very important, you have to subtract the area of the two circles which share the surface where they combine. Literally this part, we are going to minus the two circles. Since now, this is no longer just a hemisphere on its own and a cone on its own. They have been combined to form one sheep. This means the top surfaces are no longer in existence. We cannot see the top surfaces anymore. That's why we always need to subtract the two circles whenever they combine shape like this. So that's very, very, very important. Take note of that for your tests and exams. To subtract the two circles which uh, lie flat on each other. The circle, the circle of the cone and the circle of the hemisphere. We're going to subtract that when we do the calculations of TSA, the total surface area of the whole sheet. So we may begin with the volume. Okay, so now remember, based on the formulas of the formula sheet, if we want to find the volume of the cone, we already know that um, uh, I mean, volume yes, of the cone, we will have 1 over 3 uh, pi radius squared multiplied by the height. Okay, so this will be 1 over 3 pi. They gave us the radius as 13, so they're sharing the same radius. So this is 13. Um, square centimeters and then the height of our cone is 14 centimeters okay so then we can simply now add or we'll make the calculations so now quickly 1 over 3 um, 1 over 3 multiplied by uh, pi multiplied by 13 squared multiplied by 14. So we have a volume of 2,477,66 cubic centimeters. Now remember, this is just the volume of the cone first, just the cone. I'm just saying the cone. Now we need to find the volume of the hemisphere based on the formula this is 2 over 3 pi radius cubed 
Okay, so this is now 2 over 3 pi. Our radius is 13 and then cubed. Okay. So 2 over 3 multiplied by pi multiplied by 13 cubed. Okay, this now gives us an answer of, so now make sure that you make your calculations properly, um, don't miss any calculations when you actually do these type of calculations, because any wrong calculations or any um, wrong uh, computations of these calculations will actually be uh, they will lead you to actually an incorrect answer so we have 2 over 3 multiplied by uh, pi multiplied by so very important 13 cubed this is 4601 so 4000 Six hundred and one, four thousand six hundred and one, comma thirty eight cubic centimeters. That's cubic centimeters. So that's the volume of the hemisphere. Let me just say each sphere alone. Now to get the total volume of the whole sheep, the whole sheep, it means that we need to now add these two together. So now, volume is 2477,66 plus 4601,38. The volume will be, so now 2477,66 plus 4601,38. We have 7,000. Uh, 79,04 cubic centimeters cubic centimeters that's the volume of the whole shape together we had the volume we had the volume of the cone this part only we had the volume of the hemisphere that's the top part of the shape now, when you combine them, this part, this gives us the volume of the entire shape. Now, secondly, now from this, we now need to find the total surface area of the same shape. The total surface area, remember, volume was the interior part. Now, we want the surface area, which is the exterior part. So, now, let's check. Okay, so now we now need to first find the formulas of the individual shapes. So now let's start with TSA of a cone. So TSA of a cone, total surface area of a cone. The formula is pi radius length. plus pi radius squared okay that's very very important that we have these so now the length that they're referring to that's very important this is the length they're referring to the length is the side the side of the cone and now the only way to get this length is to use Pythagoras. Now, if you look at this, this shape, you have a right angle, triangle here. Yeah? This means the only way to get this length is to use Pythagoras to get the hypotenuse of your triangle. So, firstly, let's find that length. So, it means L squared, the length squared is uh, 13 square centimeters 
plus 14 square centimeters. Therefore, what do we have? So we have 13 square centimeters plus 14 square centimeters. We have L squared as 365. Now we square root both sides. Therefore, what is the length? So the square root of 365. Square root of 365. We have 19, comma, uh, 1, 0. 19, comma, 1, 0 centimeters as the length. Therefore, now to substitute pi, our radius is 13. Our length is 19, comma, 1, 0 plus pi. Our radius is 13 squared. This will now give us the surface area only of the cone for now. So this will be pi multiplied by 13 multiplied by 19,01. Um, I mean 19.1010 10, um, and then we plus that with pi times 13 squared. Okay. We have a TSA of 1310,986 square centimeters. So now there, that's the TSA of the cone alone. So now we need to find the TSA of the hemisphere. Okay, so now TSA of hemisphere, this part. This will be the formula is two pi radius squared. Okay, so now this means that it will be two times pi and then thirteen squared. This will be if you calculate it quickly. We have two times pi. 2 times uh, pi times 13 squared. This is now 1061,858 square centimeters. Square centimeters. Okay. Now, this is the part where we need, now need to reason our calculations. So we said when it comes to the TSA, we have a cone and a hemisphere. They share a common circle, this part. The top part of the cone shares the bottom part of the hemisphere. When you look at the shape, if this was an actual 3D shape in front of you, you wouldn't be able to see these two circles. That's why we need to subtract them. Remember that the surface area is the part that we can only see. We cannot see these if you're holding a 3D uh, cone and a hemisphere which are on top of each other. That's why we need to subtract these two. So on our formula, based on what we have, we have this as the formula for the TSA of the cone alone. We have this as the formula for uh, the TSA of the hemisphere alone. Now we need to subtract. So now based on these, it means we are going to subtract two circles. Remember, the area of one circle is just pi radius squared. So it means we're, just, we're going to subtract one pi radius squared and another pi radius squared. And then if you look at the calculations, this is the same thing as subtracting two pi radius squared. So this is the same thing as if we add these together and subtract this part out. This part out. This means that the total surface area of the whole shape, if we subtract the circles, will be this. So the final answer will be the same as getting the final answer of the TSA of the cone alone.
Now that's very very important. This one is the final answer. So I hope you guys understood what I meant by you need to subtract the circles or the areas of the two circles which are uh, being shared by these two 3D shapes. Very, very, very important. So I hope you guys understood the lesson and I hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, the lesson itself. So um, the next part will be focusing on um, rectangular prisms in terms of X, how to find the surface area and the volume of rectangular prisms in terms of X. Okay, thank you so much again. I'm Misha Gagana and I'm your tutor for the measurement series. Thank you.